Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a snapshot for a virtual machine VM and then I'm also going to show you how to restore that snapshot if you ever need to go back to it. So what we have here is a Windows 10 VM and you can see we have some documents and folders on the desktop. All our items pinned to the taskbar down here. We have the Windows Store or Microsoft Store open and Windows File Explorer open right here. And so what I'm going to do is go to the VirtualBox Manager, find the VM that we got here, click here, go to Snapshots, and I'm going to click on Take. First, you can see there's no snapshots here, so it's only the current state, which means the state that it's running in right now. So I'll click on Take, and I'll give it a name. I'll name it Today's Date, 923. Put a description if you like, click OK. And then we have to wait a few minutes for the process to complete. Okay, so now that that's done, you can see we have the current state of our 923 snapshot. And if you go to the information, you can see details about the VM. And you can add some attributes for the snapshot if you like. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the VM. I'm going to close all this stuff up here. And I'm going to delete everything on the desktop. I'm going to unpin everything from the taskbar. And so let's say we did that and like, uh oh, we want to get everything back to the way it was. Or you'd say you deleted something or made a system change that really messed things up. And fortunately, you had a snapshot of the VM before, you know, things went haywire. You can do that. So in order to do that, first, we're going to need to shut down the VM. Because if you see here, the restore option is grayed out. So let's go ahead and shut it down. Okay, so now if we click on our 923 snapshot, you'll see that we can either delete it, restore it, or look at the properties of it. So we're going to click on Restore. We could also make a clone of it if we want to make another VM from that snapshot. So for now, we're just going to click on Restore. And it's going to tell you that before it restores it, it wants to create an, another snapshot of the current state, just in case you want to go back to that. So we will leave that there just for fun. Click on Restore. And then... We'll call this backup snapshot. Okay, so we got our backup snapshot, and we're going to click on restore here. Or actually, we don't need to click on restore because it already did it. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to start this VM. And you can see here it's restoring the VM, and you can see already in the background, which is kind of grayed out, all the documents and the things we had open from before. So now we're left exactly where we were before, when we made the snapshot the first time and before everything got deleted and closed. So simple as that. So once you go back here, you'll see you know, you have your snapshots. And if you want to delete these snapshots, so say you don't need them anymore and it's just taking up space on your hard drive because they will take up quite a bit of space if you keep on making multiple snapshots, especially for multiple machines, then you could shut it down and delete the snapshot. You're going to have to delete. You can't delete the root one. You'll have to delete the child ones first, and then you can go back and delete the root one. So that's an easy way to kind of cover yourself if you want to make a backup of a VM before you do any major changes or configuration settings that, you know, you might risk ruining something up. So that's where I kind of cover you. All right. Thanks for watching.